Okay. So I wanted to show you um, again, because I know the first <laughs> the first video I did, there was an audio issue. So I've switched computers and all kinds of stuff. But I wanted to show you, this is on Brightspace, how you can use the graphical equation tool to help organize your mathematical notation properly. Um, and I and I suggest that you use it because sometimes when you type things up, for example, if I if I type uh, two plus x over three, you know this I've seen this different ways. You know, like do you mean that you want the quantity two plus x and then divide it by three, or do you want two plus the fraction x plus three? These two things are actually very different um, expressions, and I've seen students mix them up a lot. And if I use the graphical equation tool, I'm going to show you what they look like um, if I were to write it out. So your graphical equation tool is here, this symbol, which is a summation notation, but it's a math symbol, right? So if you click that, some of you have to click that to see graphical equations. Some of you maybe already have a graphical equation there. Whatever, you need graphical equation. Click on that. You have all your tools here, okay? All of your tools are here. You have fractions, you have square root, you have any other root that you'd like to do, um, exponents, you have infinity symbol, you have plus and minus symbols, which some of you need, um, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, if you're doing an inequality that requires that, it makes it a lot easier, pi, to represent what you're trying to show. You know. So the first thing that I wrote, I said it was two plus, then the fraction x, divided by three. So that's what this represents. If I'm if I'm writing it out this way, or if I'm writing it properly, if I were writing it with my hand, right? This one, if I want to do a fraction, I do a fraction, and then on the top, two plus X, and then press my arrow button to get to the bottom over three. Um, this one represents this. So I've seen, this is this is what I've seen. I've seen, you know, like two plus X divided by three represented like this, but intentionally you're trying to write it or represent it this way. So, you know, there's some errors there, you know, with your inequality symbols, um, instead of trying to write, you know, less than or equal to or less than or equal to in words, right? You don't need to do it that way. You can go to your graphical equation tool um, you can write your inequality, let's say it's an absolute value inequality, absolute value x plus two um, is less than or equal to five. So I did the absolute value sign, sorry. Um, and then in there, the x plus two, whatever expression should be there, less than or equal to symbol is here, five, I can insert that. Um, I could show my steps, my next step, um, you know, would be go back to graphical equation tool. You know, when I pull down the absolute value symbol, I would do x plus two um, is less than or equal to five, or I would do the x plus two um, is greater than or equal to negative five. All of this can be done with proper notation and showing your steps. Then under that, you know, sometimes what I do is I'll copy and paste, and then I'll go here and I'll click this graphical equation and I'll just edit it so that it's less work. I'm subtracting two from both sides right? Um, I'm subtracting two from both sides. So this becomes negative seven. You can actually, you know, on the side there, oh, I subtracted two from both sides or whatever, right? I'm not going to go through the whole process, but I just want to show you how you could show it vertically step by step. And I want you to be careful too, because when you're in graphical equation to tool, you don't want to do too many steps in one shot and it goes across on this long horizontal line that cuts off and then we can't see your work. You have to do it in pieces. So here's another example. If I go here, graphical equation tool, let's say I wanna show the quadratic formula. So X equals, and then I need a fraction. The opposite of B, I have plus or minus here, plus or minus the square root. And you see what I'm picking of B squared. So you could click on your exponent thing here and then it shows up where B is the base. Press my arrow to the right to get to the exponent. Press my arrow again, because if I continue to write here, all of that is going in the exponent and that's a problem. I don't want that. Press my arrow to come back to the base and then minus four AC. I've seen that incorrect as well over two A. Look how clean this is. 
this is this is nice work. We can clearly see what it what it shows, what it what you're trying to say. Um in proper notation. If I want to do somebody ask me about a cubed root, this one is my root. I could change. I'm sorry, my phone is going. Okay. I can change to a cubed root, my index. I could change the expression here. Um, if I need exponents under here, x to the like second and then arrow down y to the third whatever and you simplify it you could do radicals you could do so <laughs> I, I i highly suggest and i do it every semester that you guys use this graphical equation tool because it makes your work nice and clean and it makes it represented properly because if you're writing it this way and you're not putting parentheses where they belong, then you're technically incorrect with what you're trying to say. And sometimes it looks like a hot mess with all these things and parentheses, and it's hard to decipher what you're trying to say that way as well. So this helps give yourself nice, clean work and proper notation, um, and it helps us follow along. So this is, this is my suggestion for the discussion board that you guys use this tool right here. Play with it, graphical equation tool. Use this tool right here to, to get what you need. Um, infinity, you have you could do your um, interval notation. So play with it, get used to it because it's a really good tool to um, use.